Ratio tables can be used to generate equivalent ratios and to solve problems. For example, in a bucket, there is a ratio of two blue chips for every five orange chips. The problem is to find out how many total chips are in the bucket if there are 60 orange chips in the bucket. To get started, two blue chips can be multiplied by 10 to get 20 blue chips. So, five orange chips are also multiplied by 10 to get 50 orange chips. Notice the chips in the rectangular arrays show that there is still a ratio of two blue chips for every five orange chips. Next, two blue chips can be multiplied by two to get four blue chips. So, five orange chips are also multiplied by two to get 10 orange chips. Finally, 50 orange chips can be combined with 10 orange chips to get 60 orange chips. So, 20 blue chips can be combined with 4 blue chips to get 24 blue chips. Notice that this is a ratio with 2 blue chips to 5 orange chips that has 60 orange chips. So, 24 blue chips can be added to 60 orange chips to get a total of 84 chips in the bucket. Division and comparison strategies can also be used to generate new equivalent ratios in a ratio table. For example, both values in the ratio of 24 blue chips to 60 orange chips can be divided by 2 to get an equivalent ratio of 12 blue chips to 30 orange chips. Just like in previous ratio table strategies, this division strategy results in a new ratio, 12 blue chips to 30 orange chips that maintains the original ratio. In this next example, like values in two equivalent ratios are compared or subtracted. So, 20 blue chips minus 12 blue chips is 8 blue chips, and 50 orange chips minus 30 orange chips is 20 orange chips. Once again, this comparison strategy results in a new ratio 8 blue chips to 20 orange chips that maintains the original ratio. Note, the multiplication, division, combine, and compare strategies for ratio tables generate these new equivalent ratios in the table because each of these ratios maintains the original ratio of two blue chips for every five orange chips.